Put this in the mail. Get to mail that off. If I remember right, the old mansion's out past the woods. blocks for you to choose from. Yeah, yeah, ha, yeah! 
My mom said I had to mow the dog. seen a movie in ages.
Have him surrounded. Oh no. What's that? Yeah. What's that? Give me. Well, take care. Whoa! What? What is? Whoa! 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 whoa. Lucky! That little feller's parked on your head. Huh? Would you cut that up? Whoa! Huh? Sorry! Don't You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm. Okay, that's fine. But I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit? Right then. So, what are you going to do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. See you around. Next stop, the mansion! That 
little feller sure seemed happy. Yes! up ahead. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there! Huh? Ah! 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 Thanks for the heart attack! Oh, what? Did I scare you? So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope.
You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go. The password was, uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. But, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know what you said. Oh, oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh... The transporter to the other Twilight Town! Uh... It's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? 
I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! So, what's next? We can go back to town. So, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Oh. Handsome! Samness! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Handsome and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Mm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell them, Captain Goofy! <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <gasps> Darkness. Not if it helps him. Here we go. 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 
Herc said, he said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me, Donald, Goofy? <laughs> you bet you. I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. <laughs> we can try and get some with Hannah and a lot. There's a lucky emblem here. Let's see. Nice. Let's see. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ha! 
who rescued my mm -hmm. chef. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm, what is it? Wow! Cake! Hmm? Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh! oh it's you! Hi! It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. You need to scrounge up some ingredients. Guess we're still short. Let's keep searching.
Yeah. Hmm. Little Chef needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. Hmm. before cooking can begin. to scrounge up some ingredients. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. some ingredients around here. Hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? 
He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You downloaded a text range? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge! Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of them for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. We brought some ingredients. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. 
Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Huh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know. We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel.
So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Anson the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. Hey, Sora, I got a tip for you.
Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday, and I can't help but feel like they're, they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we come here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me, as long as there's no harvest. mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I, I won't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Well, what? What's your name? Oh, nothing, nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out, they look mad. Slowly, slowly. Out of here. Yeah! Ha! Ha! Yeah! Ha! 
I think I saw him go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Flynn, where are you? Flynn? At least he got away safe, right? Huh? Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. Yeah. <sighs> oh. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. 
I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't... Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it. The three guys in the funny outfits. They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Look at that. A tower. <sighs> Let's check it out. Wonder who put a tower here? Let's go find out.
It's so soft. I'm free. I'm really free. Oh. Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh, this would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Best day ever! I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot! Yeah. Stop right there! Who are you? Oh! I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, my name's Sora. <laughs> and I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's just your heroes! Uh-huh. And uh -huh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> just leave it to us. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. <laughs> uh, yep, unforgettable. Just like your face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, male. All for one, and one for all. Look! The flowers are growing on top of the water! Sidekicks, thanks again for helping me out. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Huh? 
Oh. oh, look! What is that? It's so fluffy! Oh. Huh. <laughs> Rapunzel, take cover! Huh? <laughs> Alright, I hate to say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No! I am seeing those lanterns. No, oh, come on! Rapunzel? It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them. Be careful, Rapunzel! Yes! They need a tower! Yes! 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 Here we go!
Missing someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. The outside world is even better than I dreamed. I can't believe how wonderful this is. Look! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I thought that might work. But I wish there was a way to make more fly at once. Yes! One's over there. There must be something I can do to blow them into the air. Let's see. Where are the most dandelions? Oh! 
Oh, we had a big gust of wind. Rapunzel's calling you. Yes. If I can just convince her to... Huh? Oh, don't mind me. Did you think of any good ideas? lights. I want to see what's at the top of that hill. I never imagined the forest would be so big.
Okay, that's suspicious. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Rapunzel? Don't worry. I know to be careful around flowers now. Whatever it is, it's not normal. I'll take a look. Blanchette? Uh. Oh. Hmm. Huh. We're all clear. Oh. <laughs> These guys, they're nobodies. Mother said the outside world would be full of ruffians and thugs. Where's my ruffians? Where's my... Uh, I don't know. Rapunzel, Flynn, stay back. No, I want to help you fight. I know, but I'm afraid you can't hurt these guys with a frying pan. Trust me on this. 
Flynn, could you explain? No problem. Knowing when to flee is one of my specialties. <sighs> Come on, Rapunzel. Gotta go. What? Look, I want to stay and slug it out too, but my sidekicks have it covered. All right. Please be careful, Sora. <sighs> <sighs> Of course there had to be nobodies. Of course, we've never seen this kind before. You know who uses nobodies? You want the defense man? Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. I know you're there. Come out, you has -beens. Oh. has -beens. Now why would you say that? Because. Bossing around nobodies? That's the old organization. Why? Are you in the real one, too? Good for you. My name is Marluxia, and yes, that is correct. How interesting it is to see you again, Sora. Again? You know him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A shame you've no memory of me, because I remember you exceedingly well. Although, it's those memories I'd soon erase. I don't know what you're saying! Nor should you. Nor will you ever, for that matter. Now, if you'll permit me, I've come to ask a favor. Favor? You have got to be kidding me! Please hear what I have to say. I'm sure you've noticed. Well, perhaps not. But you should know that maiden with you, Rapunzel, is the very light of this world. I would see you guard her from its dark horrors. Huh? <laughs> Starting with you, right? All the organization seeks is balance. You must understand, our ultimate objective is not to clash with the light. We seek to complement it. 
use that keyblade to keep Rapunzel safe. Rapunzel's light. Oh, hey, where did they go? I guess they must have run on ahead. Then we'd better go find them. I really don't like what that guy said. Yeah, we'd better find Rapunzel before he does. I wonder where they went. Don't 
worry. They couldn't have gotten too far. You just had to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has-been, not me. Oh, I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has-been would prefer. <sighs> Hello? Rapunzel? Flynn? Excuse okay. me, good travelers. Do you know Rapunzel? Uh, uh, yeah. Sort of. Wow. My apologies. I'm Rapunzel's mother. The poor child left home without a word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell me, where is my dear, sweet girl? We'd tell you, but we lost her. By accident. We could look together. Lost her? You're of no use to me. I'll find her myself. She ran away from home. What if Marluxia was on to something back there? You trust all the decision, Captain? What? No, of course not. But what if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys, the first step is to find her. <laughs> I hope Rapunzel's okay. I bet she is. She's tough. There must be a reason Rapunzel didn't tell her mother. Rapunzel's mother seemed pretty worried. <laughs> sure hope the woods here aren't haunted.
I can't see where we're going.
Suppose we might be lost, do you? How do we get out of here?
from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on! He's a bad horse! Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right, Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is... I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Mm. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Huh? Rup 
Rapunzel! You're here, and you're okay. <clears throat> yeah, you too. And look, I need a friend. Meet Maximus. You could say Flynn introduced us. And where one goes, the other follows. This oh. is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. They've been helping me. Uh, come on. The kingdom's not far. this in the mail. are warming up to each other. around here. Well, I bet you could bust this open if you hit it hard enough from above. Ha! I bet we'll find some ingredients around here. place to cross. Come on, let's swing across and look for a path. Climb back up. Hey, no worries.
Sora. Yeah. It's over. 
What? It transformed! What is it with me and horses?
Rapunzel's found something. The birds flew that way, Sora. Rapunzel's calling you. Sora? I've got to be quiet so I don't frighten them. Oops. Oh, they're leaving. I wonder what she wants. Oh, there they are. flew that way, Sora. Oh, there they are. The birds flew that way, Sora. Outside world will be full of amazing things. And you, you helped me find them. Thank you. Rapunzel sure looks happy. She does. Well, her dream's gonna come true. They're sending the lanterns up after dark. Cool. We don't want to miss that.
Well, I think they're having... Festival! Is that a plaza up at the end of the street? a busy place. Find some ingredients around here. We've got until nightfall to go explore them. I think I'll get Good some of these lovely apples. Huh. You won't find these anywhere else. Yeah. The crowd goes wild! for the last princess.
venga. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun! Keep dancing! <laughs>
I've been looking out a window for 18 years, dreaming about what it might feel like when those lights rise in the sky. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? It will be. And what if it is? What do I do then? Well, that's the good part, I guess. You get to go find a new dream. something for you too I should have given it to you before but I was just scared and the thing is I'm not scared anymore you know what I mean I'm starting to <laughs> I'm sorry. Everything is fine. There's just something I have to take care of. Okay. I'll be right back. It's all right, Pascal.
Wow! <laughs> Could you guys have possibly picked a worse time? I don't think they appreciate the moment, Sora. What? It's time for these wet blankets to go. Yeah. 
Eugene? Eugene! Oh dear, <laughs> he's run off with the crown and forgotten you. No, he wouldn't. Who are you? <laughs> Forget Flynn Rider. You know where you belong, and it's not with him. Now. Hmm. 
So I followed you, and I saw them attack you, and... Oh, my. Let's go. Let's go before they come to. Isn't that Rapunzel? Wait! Rapunzel! Oh. Show some decorum. Do it again! Marluxia! The girl has found her dear mother. You should let them be. And why is that? Because Rapunzel is far too important. Atop her tower, she must remain out of sight and live out her days with Mother Gothel. And never see anyone else? But that's like locking her in some prison. That is exactly what it's like. Rapunzel's hair holds the powerful magic of healing. And yes, Mother Gothel wants it for herself, as do others. And if Mother Gothel's actions will protect Rapunzel, preserve her, then she is doing the organization a favor. What favor? Let's say she's keeping Rapunzel on the shelf for us. An extra pawn in case you fail to find the remaining Guardians of Light. And we have occasion to call on other Hearts of Light instead. A new seven hearts to fill out the ranks. New seven hearts? Yes. Seven who inherited the princess's light after their role was fulfilled. So you don't care about her? You guys just want Rapunzel for your own purposes. Well, you're done here. Hmm. I just knew you would go and make a scene. Very well. Then it's lights out for you. were such a sound sleeper. Oh, 
Please speak up, Rapunzel. You know how I hate the mumbling. I am the Lost Princess, aren't I? Did I mumble, Mother? Or should I even call you that? Oh, Rapunzel. Do you even hear yourself? Why would you ask such a ridiculous question? <laughs> uh, it was you! It was all you! Everything I did was to protect you. Uh, Rapunzel. I've spent my entire life hiding from people who would use me for my power. Rapunzel! When I should have been hiding from you! Where will you go? He won't be there for you. What did you do to him? That criminal's to be hanged for his crimes. No. No, no, it's all right. Listen to me. All of this is as it should be. No! no. You were wrong about the world. And you were wrong about me. And I will never let you use my hair again! You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. Sora okay? We don't know. We keep calling his name and shaking him, but he won't open his eyes. Sora? Wake up! Hmm. Unresponsive sidekick. Wait a minute. I know how to fix this. Max, give him a wash. <laughs> did the trick. Nice work, Max. Huh? How did I end up? Oh, no! Flynn! Rapunzel's being held prisoner! That's right. In her mother's tower. This calls for a rescue. Are you with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Max. From here, Flynn. Go help Rapunzel. Thanks. Come on.
Yeah! 
Like this! 